Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeper with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. In today's video, we're going to be talking about pollen and what's coming in and what's beginning to bloom. So it is the 13th of February, and I wanted to talk about the maple trees today. So you can see there's really no bees on it right now, but the buds are so close right now. They have yet to open up over here. But we got a call from the neighbor the other day saying that their tree was buzzing um, and there was bees all over, which is really exciting for us. It's really, really early though. Usually these don't start blooming until like the second or third week of March, so we're really early. But it's not necessarily a bad thing, hopefully, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, there's no bees on these ones right now. These are our maple trees and we have a couple scattered around the property and our trees for some reason are always a little late, a couple days late or about a week sometimes. So hopefully the bees will be on it pretty soon, but they are starting to bring in pollen from uh, the neighbor's trees. So we're gonna go ahead and start giving them some pollen patties, which I wanted to talk about today. I believe Kamen just did a video on, um, basically the same thing I'm doing a video on. And usually we're about like one to two weeks out from him and we're basically on the same schedule right now, which is definitely a little different. And the weather's been really weird today, or the last couple weeks. So we've just been in and out of cold and hot and uh, rainy and snowy. So I'll talk about that a little later, but let's go ahead and get in the bees. I'm really excited to see what's going on because we haven't really been in the bees yet this year. So this will be one of our kind of first inspections a little bit. We're really not checking for anything. We're just going to be giving them some pollen patties that we got from Hive Life. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're up in the bee yard and it's been a while since I've been doing this. So I have a good excuse today if I mess up or crack the lid or something. So we're gonna do some pollen patties because the pollen's just now starting to come in. Let's see if, these girls are kind of in the shade. Let's see if maybe these girls over here, if you can see the pollen coming in. Yeah, so there's pollen up here. Um, it might be hard to kind of see. That bee right there's got some pollen on her. Now they all start coming in once we start filming. I don't know if maybe you got a glimpse of that one bee, but I did just see it, promise. Here's one, that girl right here. Both, all three of these have some pollen on them. That's always super exciting. So we're gonna start off with our pollen patties now. We're gonna do this on all the hives. Um, we'll give them a whole or half depending on how strong they look. So I'm gonna start off with this single today and see how they're looking. I just sort of popped a little, a little, but I didn't really see what was going on. So I don't know if I'm gonna give them a half or a whole yet. But here we have the global patties with rocket fuel in it, I believe, from Hive Life. So we picked these up, whatever dates Hive Life was. I feel like it was like the 5th, 6th, and 7th, or maybe the 7th. I don't know. Anyways, so we got these at Hive Life, so we're really excited about it. I'm going to be doing it basically the same way Cayman does it. So I'll just like peel the side off and then stick it onto the hive. So we're going to do that now. I've got a fresh box of them, and let's open them up, see how they look. I'm kind of doing it a little risky today because... I'm not putting a jacket on or anything, and they might be a little spicy just because it's the first inspection of the year. There's really nothing out except for the maples, which just started. And the weather's been kind of crazy like I've been talking about, or I said a little bit in the beginning. It's been like in the 60s, and then it gets down into the 30s, and then we randomly get snow, and then tomorrow we're gonna have freezing cold rain, and then it's gonna be back up in like the 40s and 50s Wednesday. And then Thursday, a chance of snow. So it's just a mess right now. That's what it's like being in Missouri. I don't know why we're here, but we are. Um, I guess good reason is the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl, which, I mean, that's a plus, I guess. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and open them up. I've got a bucket on here, which is just empty. That's just one of the ways we were feeding them this year. We did a little bit more bucket feeding than we have in the past. And I enjoyed it. I like it. It's easy. It's one of those things where you can prepare all the buckets beforehand beforehand, and go up and put them on. Just flip them over. It's super easy that way. So I'm using smoke today just because I have no idea how they're going to act. And I decided to wear short sleeve. 
if you didn't notice, this is my shirt. I don't know, hopefully you can see the whole thing. So it's got an American flag on the back with beekeeper on it. And then the front's got like a circle. It says BWN on it and then beekeeping with Natalie. I'll leave my website and the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. We're selling these t-shirts now. We just got um, a fresh, some fresh new t-shirts because we sold a good amount at Hive Life. So um, let's see, how's it going? All right, before I smoke them, so you can kind of see, looks like they're not super strong in here. Looks like we're gonna give them maybe half a patty. I don't wanna give them too much. These girls have always been a little small. They were one, um, I think they were like a really late split that we ended up doing in the year. But I'm excited to see that they've so far made it through winter. Um, we're not really out of the woods yet. Like I said, chance of snow in a couple days here. So hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Um, I'm gonna take this off just so that the pollen patty goes on straight. This is just some old combs, nothing fresh. If it was, that'd be crazy. I can't wait for that time of the year. But there's fresh comb, fresh nectar in the hive. Super excited. So I'm just gonna give them half of this. That kind of worked, kind of didn't. I'll peel that off and then I'm just gonna set this right on top of the hive. Luckily, well, I was gonna say luckily, but then I looked at the lid. Um, this did, it kind of has like a built-in feeder shim to it a little bit. It's not that much, but you can see there's space in between the lid and the frames. So the pollen patty goes on a lot smoother. But there's comb all over it. So I'm gonna have to wipe this off here in a second. Or maybe I'll just put it like right there. We're just gonna scooch this up a little bit into the corner. So I can put the lid on. Um, there's bees all over the frame and, or sorry, not on the frame, all over the lid. And I kind of don't want to shake that on camera because I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I've yet to get stung this year so far, which is crazy. We're already like two months in. So, all right, we're just going to put that on just to cover the hole. And I guess we can kind of go around and do a couple more hives and just talk about what's going on. It's really simple. This is seriously the first thing that we're doing in the bees this year. We really haven't done anything. We've done like a little bit of open feeding every now and then when it's warm outside, but nothing much. Just because it's been so weird, the weather. So we're gonna walk around, keep putting some pollen patties on, and uh, I guess we'll film a little bit of that. And that'll be pretty much it for today's video. Okay, so this is the first hive that I decided to check and put a pollen patty on real quick. And um, I just wanted to kind of show what they're looking like because this is super exciting to see right out of winter. So this is a brand new box. Um, they built all that top comb up this year. And look at all those bees. So that's super exciting and I'm just excited to see that. So we're definitely gonna give them a quick pollen patty here. But I just wanted to show it because I'm excited to see that, just to know that they made it through winter, or so far they have. And um, yeah, this was a split that we made just last year, and they ended up getting into a double, and then they built out that top box with comb. It's just exciting to see. So we're gonna keep moving along, and I just wanted to kind of mention that. All right, we've got a single right here that I figured we'll go ahead and finish the video off with one last pollen patty that we put on. These were all splits that we did this year. These were actually all from one hive. We had this one hive that was just super spicy and nobody wanted to check them and it was during honey flow season and we just kept adding boxes. So they built up to like way too many boxes. So we had all these bees that were just mean. And so we ended up just splitting them down and requeening all of them. And they're doing really good so far. This is the only one out of all of them that are still in a single. Sometimes that's just better for them going into winter. 
so we'll just kind of open them up, see how they're looking. Looks like there's a decent cluster in here. Nothing too crazy, um, but they're still here, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and just give them a full because that's what I have right here. So just peeling this off. It's something that's really simple, but it'll, it'll benefit them hopefully a lot. And so we're just really excited this year to be able to do this um, because we really haven't had pollen patties that have been ready this early in the year because we just not ready for that yet. And um, so we're just excited to be able to start the year off with these pollen patties. And um, yeah, so yeah, thanks Cayman, I guess. It sounds so weird coming out of my mouth, but whatever. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. And we're gonna finish this off with some of our hives and hopefully we'll have a good bee season. I'm so excited for everything that's to come. And yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.